No, no, no. Screw Smogist. September is right around the corner, and I'm done limiting myself to just one topic. <sighs> Sorry, gang. Let's talk about Kyoru and why it's the biggest achievement in dinosaur game history. Ow, original. For far too long, dinosaur games have stuck to one genre, survival. Every dinosaur game wants to be this realistic, hardcore dinosaur experience. But there's a huge fundamental flaw with all these games. Notice how the videos about these games are either glorified podcasts or just skip to the PvP clips? It's because these games are about NOTHING! They have no heart, no soul, and are empty husks of an experience trying to pass off as games. If people have to go AFK in a game for HOURS just to get to a point to have fun, it doesn't take a genius to see that this game isn't really that good. All these games do is make dinosaurs boring. And I don't know about you, but I don't want these animals to inspire so much in me to be portrayed like this. Now back to good game. Kyoru offers a fresh new take on dinosaur games never seen before. The idea of resurrected dinosaurs obviously hasn't been considered a unique concept since 1993, but the execution is what makes this game so promising. In Kyoru, you play as a young T-Rex living in a post-apocalyptic Japan taken over by other dinosaurs. Say no more. Take my money. I need to speak to the manager. Ah! These dinosaurs are inaccurate! <laughs> it's been 30 years, and I think it's finally time to retire the old Jurassic Park style. Do you know how many people outside the paleo community still believe T-Rex was a 20-foot tall lizard with eyesight to genuinely mistake an owl for an owl Ha <laughs> More band humor. Jurassic Park isn't inaccurate, just outdated. And unfortunately, the designs have stuck decades later. Feathers are becoming sort of mainstream, but slapping feathers on a Jurassic Park dinosaur doesn't make it accurate. Also, just to clarify, I'm not saying inaccurate dinosaurs are bad. Primal is one of my all-time favorite shows. Now, I'm no paleontologist, but I don't think it's very scientifically accurate for a T-Rex to take a dump that large. Kyoru's dinosaurs are all beautifully up-to-date with the latest science. Uh, you know, but besides a samurai armor and all that. This proves that you don't need to add pointless accessories to make dinosaurs cool. Dinosaurs are already cool. Don't fix what isn't broken. Unless you're certain you're gonna cook. Stylization like this is great. If this game gets popular, maybe others will try to put more effort into accuracy. This would eventually lead to a butterfly effect of accurate dinosaurs being more popular. Luckily, this isn't the only accurate dinosaur media of the 2020s. Prehistoric Planet, Prehistoric Kingdom, and even Paleo Pines are all great examples. Donate to the children's fun? Why? What have children ever done for me? Though an age rating for this game is yet to be announced, I think it's obvious that it's not for toddlers. I don't really know where the idea of dinosaurs are for kids came from, but they certainly aren't. They are a group of animals just like any other. I don't really have much to say other than I hope this game pushes the idea that dinosaurs can be for everyone. Back to the past and